Hey, what is going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So it is December and in about 30 days it will be New Year's and I wanted to create uh, some fireworks for uh, an upcoming tutorial that I'll be incorporating these fireworks in but also for those of you who are into particles and want to learn how to uh, create a firework. Here's what we'll be creating. I created three variations of this but we'll just be creating one firework but you'll be able to create any of this. And as you can see, the fireworks just come on here. We'll do a little trail uh, and we'll create some awesome uh, fireworks. So anyway, let's jump right into here and let's get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a new solid by going to layer, new solid. And we'll call this one fireworks. And let's go up to effect trap code particular. And this is a third party plugin, so it does not come with After Effects. You can pick it up from redgiant.com. So... Uh, let's go and let's start with some awesome stuff here. So if we look here, we scroll through here, we kind of have like a sort of an explosion of particles. Um, and, you know, that's basically a good start, but we have to start refining this. So let's uh, go to the particles per second here and let's set this to like, you know, maybe 8,000 or something. And now we have a ton of particles and let's add a keyframe for that. And what we're going to do is maybe zoom into our timeline here, maybe go forward by one frame, set this to zero and then go back to the uh, frame before our 8,000 keyframe and set that to zero. So then our particles will just come on one time and we'll have a fixed number of particles on the screen the entire time. Of course, you know, set these keyframes to where you want this to take place at. So if you want to take place at like one second, uh, just move those keyframes over and your firework will come on at one second. So let's start messing with these, uh, some of these values here. So the velocity, maybe we'll set this up to like 2000. And of course, these are just my values. These are rough values. So you need to kind of uh, figure out what works for you. But right now, everything's going everywhere. Let's go down to the physics real fast. And let's go down to the air. And let's increase the air resistance to probably, you know, six or something. So now all the particles will kind of stay together. But uh, we'll have some sick velocity. Maybe I'll set this down to three or four, maybe four would work. So boom, there's some cool particles coming out. And then let's go back up to our emitter and let's set the uh, velocity random to like increase that by a little bit. So we have, so these particles are not consistent. Um, and let's set the uh, velocity for motion down to 0%. And let's open up the particle tab and let's set the particle type to glow sphere. And let's set the life per second to probably like two and the life random up to like maybe 90 or something. So, you know, these will die every two seconds, but there's a little bit of, is variated a little bit, so they won't die all at the same time. And let's go and set the, maybe the size of these to maybe 11. So it'll be a little bit big, but that's okay. I think it'll be fine. And then maybe go to the size random and set this up to 60%. And so far we're going for some things here. And maybe set the uh, opacity random to about 16% and then we need to start changing some of these colors. So let's go to size over life and maybe set this preset to the downward slope. So they'll kind of get smaller as they die. And then we'll close that up. Maybe we'll go to the opacity over life. And what I'll do is I'll kind of just like, you know, draw this, like do kind of a slope down, kind of like this at the end. Uh, so they'll kind of just fade out a little bit towards the end of their life. And then let's go to the uh, color here. And this is where all the good stuff is gonna come together. Let's go to, uh, well, maybe we wanna do it over life so we can change some color. So let's go ahead and open up the color over life tab. And you see the, you know, the particles will change color as they, uh, you know, kind of live on here. Um, and maybe we go down, down to the presets and we can maybe choose this blue preset. You know, you see we got some cool colors here. Um, Maybe we can set this white color straight to maybe yellow or something. Maybe we'll do like orange or something like that. Actually, we'll do yellow. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> yellow is good. Maybe we'll set this uh, second one here to like maybe closer to an orange. And yeah, maybe we'll keep the third one to a blue color. Of course, you can double click here and you can always add another sort of marker there to change it to a fourth color. So if we can take a look at this. As you can see, the, it all changes colors towards the over the uh, life of the uh, particles. And maybe we'll just keep it at that. I don't think it really matters for me, especially for this tutorial. You guys can kind of do whatever you want, and I suggest you do whatever you want. So let's go and continue down with the physics here. Let's set the gravity to 1,000. And like I said, depending on how big the shot's going to be for you, you might be compositing it with footage. So this gravity might uh, be different. But I'm going to set this to 1,000, so now it'll kind of fall down. So it'll explode and fall down, which is exactly what should happen. 
And let's see what else we have to affect here. Maybe we'll go um, into uh, you know the spin amplitude. And this is something you might want to mess with. Um, but if you set this up a little bit, as these particles kind of fall, they'll kind of like kind of wiggle a little bit, add a little bit of, I guess, randomness to the fall down, which I think is really cool. And then let's go into also the turbulence field. And I played with the uh, effect size a little bit, kind of just create some variation. I set it to like 32. Now, if you can, you can go really crazy with this, but then you're not really creating fireworks. You're kind of creating something else that's pretty cool. But I'm going to keep mine as 32 to create some more variation within the uh, particles of the firework. And then I think we're done with the physics, so let's go right into making this thing even more awesome, which is gonna be in the auxiliary system of Particular. Make sure we set the emit to continuously. And now, as you see, we got some cool stuff going on here. Now we, we can start creating some awesome, colorful, you know, fireworks. Um, but, you know, this, this uh, the default settings right now are just kind of, you know, out there. So we should go ahead and do some fine tuning. Maybe I'll set the uh, particles per second to maybe like, you know, we see we can really increase it. <laughs> you know, we can get some really awesome stuff. Of course, this is where you really want to experiment with um, the fireworks is in this aux system here. I'm going to set mine to like 104, which was in one of my original settings. And then maybe go to the velocity. And I'm also going to set that way all the way to the max, which is 1000. And of course, it goes all over the place. So it's not a big deal, but we will fix this now. Maybe we'll set the size down to two. So to fix these particles from going all over the place, let's go into the physics air mode and let's open up the air resistance and let's just set this to like, you know, 180-ish or something like that so that all the particles will kind of stay together. So as you can see, boom, we have this awesome firework explosion here. I think that looks really awesome. And then if we want, we can change the color of these particles. So we can go into the color over life and of course we can use these presets or we can always set our own. So this is like the trail end side of our um, fire explode or particles and it looks really awesome I think it's amazing and if we really want to make uh, you know depending on you know uh, the size of the shot because this is going outside of our frame we can go to the position Z here and at the top under the emitter and kind of move this in so we can kind of get you know the full width of the firework depending on how you're going to composite the shot over footage but of course this is I'm doing this tutorial for motion graphic purposes um, but this is basically how you can create an awesome firework um, and like I said you can mess with the particles per second under the auxiliary system you can really get some awesome detailed sort of uh, firework explosion so you know I think that's really awesome and we can also uh, change the uh, life per second in the auxiliary system to like maybe two or something and it'll continue just to look you know we have all that detail in the particles that you know you can really create some awesome things I'm not sure if that looks like a firework maybe it does but it looks really awesome so let's go ahead and maybe just keep that for this tutorial to back at 0.5. But I'm just showing you guys uh, the uh, experimentation that you can do to really make something awesome. And of course, before you render this out, to make this as realistic as possible, make sure to enable motion blur for uh, your layer. Make sure you turn it on right here and over here as well. So as you can see, if we turn this off real fast, there's a you know huge difference in the motion blur. And if you quickly want to learn how to create an awesome little trail to lead up to this explosion, let's go ahead and just create a new solid. And we'll call this one trail. And let's go back and add the particular effect to the solid. And let's quickly maybe turn off our fireworks real fast. We see what we're doing. We need to keyframe the uh, position X, Y. So let's zoom in here. And we want this to stop right here. So let's add a keyframe for position X, Y. And let's go to the beginning of our timeline and just drag the little point here all the way down to the bottom. And as you see, we kind of have a nice little trail to the top there. But there's a few more settings we need to affect. So maybe the particles per second. Let's add a keyframe for this. And uh, let's move forward by one frame and set it to zero. So it'll stop emitting the particles. And let's go to the velocity. Maybe we'll set it to around 50. Uh, and the velocity for motion, we'll set this down to uh, zero. And I keep going to the negative value. But then let's go ahead and open up the particle. Let's maybe set the life per second to one. Uh, of course, maybe increase the life random to around 50 and set this to a glow sphere and then let's go to the size. Maybe we'll set this down to two or something and maybe we can change the color to like yellow, maybe kind of create that sort of sparky feel. I don't know. Maybe white is good for you. And then let's go down to the gravity or sorry, the physics and then change the gravity to like 1000. So now if we take a look at what we have here, let's turn our fireworks back on. We can see this trail is going to shoot up and boom, then our fireworks are gonna come on just like that. 
And one last thing before I render, I forgot to, uh, under the fireworks uh, layer here, under the uh, auxiliary system, uh, if we go down to opacity over life, I forgot we should probably fade that out. So let's go to like the preset here and we can kind of just fade this out over time. And as you see, if we scrub here, it'll kind of die a little bit easier than that. So that's also something to keep in mind. So let's render this out. And after a quick render, this is what we have. And if you guys found this video helpful, please drop a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel for more After Effects tutorials. And, you know, be sure to hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of this video. And guys, as always, thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope you have a good day.